In this video, we are in Norfolk, Virginia, home to the largest naval station in the world. We make regular visits to Jack's hometown in the Virginia Beach area and have made a lot of videos of things that we love in Virginia Beach, but we are going to start sharing some love for Virginia Beach's neighbor, Norfolk. We start with some unique restaurants that we enjoy in this city. Wikipedia calls Norfolk the historical, urban, financial, and cultural center of southeastern Virginia. We feel it is also the center of great dining in the area as well. We are going to introduce you to three restaurants that you should check out if you visit Norfolk or if you're planning a vacation to next door Virginia Beach. We start with Gershwin's, a fine dining restaurant slash 1930s piano bar located in downtown Norfolk in the city's theater district. It is open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday evenings, though it is occasionally closed as a result of being rented out for private events. Many nights of the week, Gershwin's has entertainment. Often a pianist taking the stage to play the restaurant's baby grand piano, although on the night we visited, it was a vocalist who was excellent performing easy listening jazz music. Here is the menu. You can pause the video if you want more details. We were here with my mom and sister to celebrate Mother's Day. My sister dared me to try their famous drink, the Grand Illumination. It's bourbon whiskey that they smoke with cherry wood right at your table. The drink was good, but also a bit stiff. While my drink was smoking, a member of the staff agreed to take us up the piano key stairs to show us the upstairs dining area. It can be rented for small parties of about 12 or less, and it overlooks the main bar downstairs. We already talked about what I drank, which cost $13. Alice ordered a Mai Tai for $11. We all shared the Maryland Blue Crab Dip Appetizer for $14. Alice ordered the Atlantic Salmon Entree with Mushroom Orzo Pasta and the Vegetable of the Day for $30. I got the New York Strip, which comes topped with chimichurri sauce alongside Parmesan fries and the vegetable of the day for $32. My sister ordered the duck breast with garlic sage mashed potatoes and the vegetable of the day for $30. And finally, my mom ordered the fire grilled pork chop topped with apple brandy chutney, which came with garlic sage mashed potatoes and yep, the vegetable of the day for $28. All of the food here was great and we had a wonderful evening out. Our next stop is Freemason Abbey, a restaurant serving fresh seafood, steak, and pasta dishes that is located in a renovated church building. This gentleman with the dance moves wants everyone to know they have outdoor patio seating. This building opened in 1873 as Second Presbyterian Church of Norfolk and was renamed Freemason Abbey when it became a restaurant in 1989. The name Freemason Abbey comes from both the fact that it's a church building and that it's located on Freemason Street in Norfolk. Here's the menu. 
Freemason Abbey is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended, though it wasn't very crowded on the weeknight we visited to celebrate our anniversary last fall. By the way, if this video is making you hungry, please click the thumbs up button to give us a like. And let us know in the comments below which of these three restaurants you would most like to try. We appreciate your support. We decided to share the Flight of the Freemason. This is a cocktail flight of five ounce samples of four of the most popular drinks at Freemason Abbey. First was Abbey Margarita, which contains Corazon Tequila, Agavero Liqueur, and house-made sour served on the rocks with a salt rim. Next is Freemason Poly Juice Potion, which features absolute pear vodka, white cranberry juice, and a magical sprinkling of cocktail glitter. Abbey Rose contains light and dark rum, banana liqueur, pineapple juice, orange juice, and grenadine. And finally, the Butterfly Effect, a color-changing cocktail containing absolute raspberry, elderflower liqueur, ginger ale, lemonade, and butterfly pea flower extract. The Flight of the Freemason cost $16. The drink samples were all good, but my favorite was the margarita, of course. The server brought us some rolls to enjoy while we waited on our dinner. Jack ordered the chicken asiago, which was two pan-seared chicken breasts topped with ham and asiago cream sauce for $19. I tried some of Jack's dish, and actually I liked it better than what I ordered, which was the grilled filet mignon, which like Jack's dish, came with grilled asparagus and smashed potatoes. My entree was $30, and it was good, just not as good as the chicken asiago. Since we were celebrating an anniversary, we each got a dessert. I ordered the apricot brandy bread pudding for $8. Jack ordered a piece of chocolate mousse cake for $7. We really loved this meal and look forward to visiting Freemason Abbey again someday. When we made the reservations, they asked if we were celebrating anything special, and Jack advised we were celebrating our anniversary. So they gave us each a Freemason Abbey glass to take home as an anniversary gift, which was a lovely touch. The final unique eatery we want to share with you is Dumar's Cones and Barbecue. This old-fashioned drive-in diner, which has been featured on the TV show Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, was opened by the inventor of the waffle cone. As the story goes, Abe Dumar was at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, and the ice cream stand had to close early because they ran out of paper bowls to serve the ice cream in. He got a waffle from the next-door waffle stand and made a cone out of it and put a couple scoops of ice cream in the cone. After Mr. Dumar showed them the way, the waffle makers began working with the ice cream stand to sell the first ice cream waffle cones at that World's Fair. In 1905, Abe built a four iron waffle cone maker that waffle cone maker machine is still used at Dumars today to make hand-rolled waffle cones using Abe's exact recipe. Abe opened a stand and started selling his ice cream treats, and eventually it grew into this diner which has been passed down to his family. You can still have a car hop deliver your food to your car for you to enjoy, but they also have a small indoor dining area as well.
We recently ate at Dumars with Jack's sister. For drinks, I ordered a refreshing limeade for $2.20. Jack ordered a banana chocolate milkshake, which he loved, for $3.90. His sister ordered an orangeade for $2.20. I got a hamburger with mayonnaise and tomato for $3.70. Jack decided to try a barbecue sandwich since barbecue is in the restaurant's name. This one cost $3.60. We split some french fries for $2.10. Jack's sister ordered a hot dog which is split in half and served on a hamburger bun which our server explained that they've been doing since the great hot dog bun shortage of World War II, or something like that. There was an interesting story, but the details escape us. The hot dog was $2.10. Of course, someone had to get a cone, so I got a scoop of orange sherbet in a Du Mars hand-rolled waffle cone for $2.70. It was pretty amazing. This place isn't fancy. There are no plates. The food comes out wrapped in plastic wrap, but it is good diner food that is also inexpensive. I think we all agreed the barbecue was the best of the sandwiches that they offer. If you are planning a trip to Norfolk, Virginia, click the link at the end of this video to see a Norfolk hotel recommendation, or check out our playlist about the many great things to enjoy in neighboring Virginia Beach. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can see you the next time we're traveling through.